All right. Welcome back, everybody. My name's Austin. We are live. The first backed Bitcoin futures trade was successfully executed yesterday at 8.02 p.m. Eastern time at a price of $10,115 per Bitcoin. This is big. This is a little piece of history, in my opinion. And let me show you. Let me share with you the actual data that you can find on the Intercontinental Exchange's official website anytime you can find this data showing you since backed went live, this is the interest. This is the amount of futures contracts that are being executed right now. And that's the difference between this channel and other crypto channels. Other channels, they'll read you the headlines, but this channel, we will go that extra step and we'll give you as much information as possible. So as a Bitcoin hodler, you can make the most informed decision as you can. That's why you subscribe. And for any newbies that have just come into crypto recently, just a reminder of why backed is so significant. Reminder, the hype is backed with substance. Unlike other futures exchanges, this exchange backed is settled in Bitcoin. Actual Bitcoin is paid out, not just the fiat equivalent. And what this means for you is the result is better price discovery and liquidity for Bitcoin. And because this is put on by the, the parent company is the Intercontinental Exchange, it definitely adds more credibility. So let's check out the data. This is the monthly futures contracts. We'll get to the daily in just a second. And you know, let's refresh. Backed has been live probably about four or five hours right now. And right now the monthly contract volume currently stands at 13. So that means since Backed went live, there is currently 13 contracts of one Bitcoin each. And you can see right here, the first Bitcoin contract, uh, Bitcoin uh, was valued at around $10,100. And right now, about four or five hours later, the contracts are going for a roughly about $10,070 Bitcoin. What do you think? What's gonna be interesting for me personally is gonna be checking up on this number after a week, after a month, after a few months, seeing what kind of volume Backed is doing once, I mean, once we give this a little more breathing room, once this opens up, I wanna check back on this and see just what kind of impact Backed is having volume-wise. So we'll see. This is the monthly futures contracts. And if we go over to daily futures contracts, as you can see, there's zero volume and no delayed data is available for this product yet. So I guess we can deduce that backed investors, they're willing to speculate monthly on Bitcoin, but nobody thus far is willing to speculate daily on Bitcoin. Interesting. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Guys, I have new statistics that I wanna pull out that just came out for September, 2019 offering some clarity on the growth of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. I wanna clue you into this, but just final thoughts on backed. If you're really asking yourself, what is the significance of this in the crypto world? Well, backed performance has been the subject of a great deal of speculation and anticipation. Many commentators believe that physically delivered futures trading of BTC represents a leap forward for institutional acceptance of Bitcoin in particular and crypto in general. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. But moving on, next piece of news, Kraken and Coinbase are among the cleanest crypto exchanges from new statistics from BTI report. And BTI, which is Blockchain Transparency Institute, very reputable. Uh, they came out with their September statistics and I think you'll find this interesting. Just as an overview, it's been over six months since we launched, launched the Blockchain Transparency Institute verified program to verify accurate reporting of cryptocurrency exchange volumes. During this period, we have received cooperation from many exchanges, thereby substantially lowering wash trading figures. So this is some of that growth and really maturity we're seeing coming out of these third party institutes in this case, showing that the market's maturing. According to our data, the cleanest exchanges over this time continue to be Kraken, Poloniex, Coinbase, and Upbit. So if you're looking for uh, good actors in the space, 
positive exchanges to park your, your money in that have the most transparent and honest trading volume, then according to the Blockchain Transparency Institute, Kraken, Coinbase, Poloniex, and Upbit, they're the place to go. On the other side, OKX and Buybox lead the exchanges with the highest percentage of wash trading. Interesting. What about by country? What's the most transparent and what lies to us with wash trading? Well, analyzing trade volumes by country, we found that Japan and the United States lead the world in countries with the cleanest exchanges. I like that. This can be due to several factors, the main one of which is the legal and regulatory standards in these countries. However, stricter regulatory frameworks do not always produce the cleanest exchanges. For example, South Korea also has a closely monitored regulatory system, but a closer look at BitThumb is now is not being taken by the authorities. So the authorities aren't really getting on South Korean exchanges. And as their data shows, they have been heavily wash trading, specifically BitThumb has been heavily wash trading Dash and Monero for the entire year. We have these tokens being wash traded over 90% of their volume. Yikes. But in general, this is the list of the most positive exchanges in the space. Binance and Liquid, uh, and Gemini, they're also on the list of quote unquote good exchanges as well. And specifically with Binance, because of reports like this, statistics like this, the space is 100% maturing because Binance is now under 10% wash trading after hovering close to 20% through the first few months of this year, 2019. So they're cleaning it up. Let me know what you think and like the video if you've gotten value thus far. Next piece of quote unquote news, I wanna turn you on to this nonprofit. I mean, we've mentioned it briefly before, but if you follow them on Twitter, Bitcoin Venezuela, they keep you updated in real time this is actual evidence, a real use case for how Bitcoin is being utilized to slowly change not so much the world, but their world in Venezuela, because I mean, every donation they make public on Bitcoin Venezuela, a little over $200 bought a week's worth of non cooked pasta, helping over 1000 people and vegetables and bleach and laundry. Bitcoin donations are helping feed thousands in Venezuela right now. And who's doing it? Well, it's the nonprofit organization run by the humanitarian Bitcoin for Venezuela initiative that looks after thousands of people in the country. According to the charity organization, about $230 in Bitcoin can provide food for more than 1,200 people at its soup kitchen for a week. The organization also provides other essential commodities for the elderly. So often we just were so focused on price, but just talking about use case and adoption, these kind of things are happening right now. I'm gonna leave a link to Bitcoin Venezuela Twitter. If anything, you know, I'm gonna follow these guys. Give them a follow. If anything, just something to keep on the radar. Uh, when people donate, they tell you exactly how that money's used. And I think that's pretty cool. Next piece of news. This was interesting to me. This is directly from the CFTC commissioner. Crypto is going to get bigger. This is from the CFTC commissioner, Brian Quintez. And let's check this out. Brian Quintez, commissioner of the US Commodities Future and Trading Commission. So this is one of the many men and women in the CFTC that has the power to make decisions. He says that the industry of cryptocurrency is going to continue to grow and also create new challenges for the regulatory body, CFTC. This is that exact quote. I think it's just gonna get bigger. I think as more established companies get into cryptographic products, whether they are centralized or decentralized, I think you will see the appeal of all crypto assets increase around the globe. Pretty interesting because this is one of the CFTC commissioners going on CNBC on September 19th and stating flat out, it's not going away. So I guess the question is, how heavy, if at all, will they regulate it? And if they regulate it too much, will they ruin it? Well, time will tell. But however, the commissioner explained the CFTC's approach to creating policy, emphasizing that their goal was to create guidelines that would not stifle innovation. 
and I hope this remains true. Quintez said that the CFTC would prefer to put guardrails up while allowing the market to ultimately decide the best use case or investment decision for a product such as a crypto asset. So this I like. I hope this is how it plays out. They're just guiding, just putting guardrails up. However, he cautioned that the CFTC will still work to, pre to prevent market manipulation, which the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has regularly cited as a roadblock for Bitcoin gaining ETF approval. So we'll see. But just the fact that he's on CNBC saying that this is their goal for me gives, gives me this is a little green flag for me. And he finished by saying that the next big hurdle for the CFTC when it comes to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, this is what they're looking at. Quintez said the next big hurdle for the CFTC is handling physically settled Bitcoin contracts, particularly how the coins are held for collateral. Interesting. Are they directly talking about backed in this case? I mean, physically settled Bitcoin contracts. I don't know, but backed has already been approved. Maybe as more competitors get into what backs getting into, maybe they'll be on top of them. But whatever happens, I will keep you updated. That's the video for today. My name's Austin. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and a like always. I'll see you tomorrow.